Hello friends, what will happen? If the Earth suddenly stops rotating on its axis? With you is, find out more, and let's get started. The probability for such an event is practically zero in the next few billion years. If the Earth stopped spinning suddenly, the atmosphere would still be in motion with the Earth's original 1,100 mile per hour rotation speed at the equator. All of the land masses would be scoured clean of anything not attached to bedrock. This means rocks, topsoil, trees, buildings, your pet dog, and so on, would be swept away into the atmosphere. In addition, the oceans by inertia will continue to rotate, so that the rare surviving lucky ones will be covered by a giant tsunami. Also, the collision itself will cause numerous earthquakes and eruptions. If the process happened gradually over billions of years, the situation would be very different, and it is this possibility that is the most likely as the constant torquing of the sun and moon upon the earth finally reaches its conclusion. If the rotation period slowed to one rotation every 365 days a condition called sun synchronous, every spot in the earth would have permanent daytime or nighttime all year long. This is similar to the situation on the moon where for two weeks the front side is illuminated by the sun, and for two weeks the back side is illuminated. This situation for the earth is not the condition of stopped rotation, but it is as close as the laws of physics will let the earth get. If it stopped spinning completely, not even once every 365 days, you would get half a year daylight and half a year nighttime. During daytime for six months, the surface temperature would depend on your latitude, being far hotter than it is now at the equator than at the poles where the light rays are more slanted and the heating efficiency is lower. This long-term temperature gradient would alter the atmospheric wind circulation pattern so that the air would move from the equator to the poles rather than in wind systems parallel to the equator like they are now. The yearly change in the sun's position in the sky would now be just its seasonal motion up and down the sky towards the south due to the orbit of the Earth and its axial tilt. As you moved along constant lines of Earth latitude, you would see the elevation of the sun increase or decrease in the sky just as we now see the elevation of the sun change from a single point on the earth due to the earth's daily rotation. In the process of forming new geography, Antarctica, Greenland, Canada, Siberia, all of Europe, part of China, and half of New Zealand will go underwater. But along the equator to 30 degrees north and south, plains and mountain ranges will appear. In a different temperature regime, the winds will begin to blow from the equator to the poles, and not be distributed parallel to the equator, as it is now. Because of this, the climate and sea currents will change, which will entail global restructuring, primarily in marine ecosystems. As for other effects, presumably, the magnetic field of the Earth is generated by a dynamo effect that involves its rotation. If the Earth stopped rotating, its magnetic field would no longer be regenerated and it would decay away to some low, residual value due to the very small component which is fossilized in its iron-rich rocks. There would be no more northern lights and the Van Allen radiation belts would probably vanish, as would our protection from cosmic rays and other high-energy particles. This is a significant biohazard. Until the Earth stops, put the likes and subscribe to the channel because there will be more interesting videos in the further. Bye.